Who will win Survivor 46? That is the question on everyone's mind. And I have the factual, actual evidence. So I'm going to go in order from the people that have the least chance to win to the person who has the most chance of winning. Let's get straight into it. Now at 13th place, and the person that is definitely not going to win is obviously Hunter. Hunter is very bad at the challenges in Survivor, and his tribe mates have had to carry in every single challenge. And he even lost his vote at his next tribal council because he doesn't know how to rearrange all of the seasons in chronological order, which I can do with ease because I don't have a life. <laughs> Hunter, you're a dork. And I think it's pretty safe to say that soon this teacher will be expelled. <laughs> and at number 12, we have Charlie Davis, aka Taylor Swift Fanboy 07. The amount of times that this person has talked about Taylor Swift is very dangerous. He talks about owning Taylor Swift socks. He has a song battle where he lists 95,000 Taylor Swift songs. He jumps off a cliff and screams, Taylor Swift, because that's the last thing he wants to leave his mouth before he dies. You might be asking, well, how is that dangerous? Well, because if I was on the island, Charlie would already be dead. And I'm pretty sure in a couple days, if he keeps this up, he's going to be found deceased. Taylor Swift! <laughs> the ogre has fallen in love with the princess. And in number 11, we have the stinky Venus. Because nothing says good strategy like thinking you're only bottom immediately after someone calls you princess, telling someone that they're blind because they don't think what you think, and telling the hunter to his face that you're going to use him as a meat shield. This person is an epic social player. Out who the biggest threat is. People might be thinking you. Okay, but yeah. you don't think that. No, I do, but I. So I, you I, want to vote me out today? I don't because I consider you a meat shield. And in number 10, we have the orange-haired witch, also known as Kinsey the Racist. I don't even feel like I need to explain why this dastardly villain of evilness will not win Survivor. She looks bad, she smells bad, and with that energy, she probably is breaking bad. And in number 9, we have Ben Katzman, aka the sexist sleazebag. Is this guy by any chance related to Ben Doherty, the worst winner in Survivor history because he paid production $25 to make Force Fire making that? And at number eight, we have Coke, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Fanta, Mountain Dew, aka Soda. Soda is pretty swag, but her campfire songs make me want to stick my head in a fish tank full of piranhas. And number seven, we have Tevin. Tevin is definitely not winning this game. I would bet my left kidney on that fact. And if he does win, well, then I will be melting my left kidney to all of you. You're welcome. And in number six, we have Mariah Gaynard. Now, Mariah is someone with a very strong edit that I can see definitely winning Survivor. They have been shown to jump very good and have also been shown to be in the majority of votes. And let's not forget that they are very well spoken in Ella Confessionals. Question mark of what idols and advantages. And at number five, we have Tim Swim's Speedo Spice. Now, Tim here has actually set the record for the most confessionals in the pre merge of Survivor, with 2,945 confessionals all in the first episode. And he also has a very good dynamic duo alliance with him and the Tiki Man. Everybody want to be in our bin. Everybody want to know what we're talking about. Nice. And at number four, we have Maria. Maria is very swag. Just this last episode, she made the biggest move ever and used her extra vote for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And you know a move makes no sense when all of the podcasts about Survivor spend like 10 minutes trying to explain why she did what she did. 
And at number three, we have Tiffany. Tiffany is in a very good spot in the game, despite being on one of the worst tribes in Survivor history. She's the only person in the game to currently actually have possession of an idol. And she was also able to snack on some Bussin Muffins last episode, so that will be very good for her going into the merge. And at number two, we have the millionaire with the most, the money-making millionaire, the cash connoisseur. That's right, we have Liz. Liz is the closest thing to just having a random rock on the island being a contestant because everyone forgets she's actually there so nobody is going to vote her off. And Liz is also spelled with three letters. Do you know what else is spelled with three letters? That's right, win. So therefore Liz is going to win the season. And at number one, we have Q the Cutie, the epicest guy to ever exist other than Brucey Boosie, of course. Anyone saying that Q will not win is mega racist and super mega cringe. Well guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Hey everybody, this is Bruce here for Season 45 Survivor. Now, I, Bruce, the greatest Survivor player to ever exist, the man that all of you subscribe to Meme View. Uh, that's M-E-M-E, -E, View. Um, and hit the like button. Or, if you don't, you end up like me on Season 44. Alright? You don't want that, do you? Ah, peace! <laughs>